I have not streamed in like a week, chat. At least it feels like it's been about a week. I did not unmute my microphone as I started talking. Well, for another month. Sorry I've missed a lot in the last few weeks. Womp womp understood. Five days? Five entire t Oh my god, I can't believe it. Hey, thank you very much, Madam Pew Pew, for the tier 240 month resub. Thank you to Panda Man as well, gifting us up. Mr. Steel Yo Beef with the 15 months, King Gammon 43, and Shiny. First sub of the day, literally one second after I went live. Very cool. Thank you also, Florencio, with the 25 viewer rate. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're doing all right. <sighs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Feels good to be streaming again, guys. How was it at Home Story Cup? It was amazing. I had a really good time. I saw you sent me a message, by the way, Flo. I haven't gotten back to you yet, but I will. I just have to, uh, yeah, I haven't had time yet to get back to everybody. But uh, I will definitely go ahead. Thank you very much for the rate. Hope you had a good stream. Thank you, Bruce Lee, as well, for the 35 months. Welcome. Good to see you. I had a really good time at Home Story Cup, yeah. I, um, on the Sunday night, decided to drive home. That wasn't the original plan, but I felt kind of good. So I was like, okay, I guess I can drive home right now, and it was like... T I think I got back at about... F a very underrated, uh, yeah, this is great. Anyways, um... Made a bunch of videos yesterday. I decided not to stream yesterday, because... Um, back to the regular schedule right now for the next what we're gonna do that happy fourth there you go picture that you posted uh, just now on discord edzilla yeah he says it's the annual right of legalized explosives there you go i'm glad that they labeled fuse so you actually know what you know the fuse looks like fantastic labeling very helpful Otherwise, you'd be confused. Uh, why is there? What? Why? Why was this thing doing here? I guess I'll just light it from the bottom. It's Independence Day. Oh, okay. Mm -mm -mm. America's up and getting grills ready. Yeah, dude. Grills, fireworks, beer. Are you going to finish playing Azeroth Reborn? Yes, yes, I will. I definitely will continue onwards with that as well, Merrick. I got a lot of games we're gonna play. I'm gonna. That's it. I don't know if that's a good plan, though. But I guess it's time to play a horror game. You can't wait? Oh, my God. I'm actually very excited for it, but... What are you doing here? I guess I'll just light it from the bottom. Mood. There you go. Thank you very much, Ray Tracer, for the 18. Thank you also, Merrick, by the way, for the 42. I do appreciate that. Welcome back. <sighs> we want Home Story Cups. Ooh, any Home Story Cup stories? Um, nothing all too crazy that comes to mind right now. The event was a uh, three-day one rather than the regular four days, which uh, I actually preferred. I think. Um, <sighs> we want Home Story Cups. Ooh, any Home Story Cup stories? Uh, stories. Uh, nothing all too crazy that comes to mind right now. The event was a uh, three-day one, one rather than the regular four days, one rather than the regular four days, which uh, I actually preferred. I think, yeah. Normally, four days can be kind of long, but three days felt really good. I do have a cat, by the way, in the, in the room as well. Was Zombie Grub wasted? I don't think she was entirely sober when she started talking about double fisting uh, during the broadcast. I was sitting there. We were sitting there the broadcast. I was sitting there. I think it was me and Wardy. We were sitting there like, sorry, what? Uh, apparently, double fisting is what you use in the States. This is what she explained. It's what you use in the States when you have two different different drinks she explained it's what you use in the states when you have two different drinks in either hand <laughs> the cast was a bit of a disaster you can see both me and wardy um face palming right as she says it let me see see if i can actually find if i <laughs> if i can find the clip because both me and wardy are like oh god <laughs> where's this going what are you saying right now uh, let me see. 
There must be some good clips from this event. Um, clips. Top 7 days. Mm -mm -mm. Loco throwing shade at AoE 4? What did I say? It slides forward a little bit. Like, it's a turn radius, right? Like, like, it takes forever for it, like... If you tell it to, like, make a move, it just glides forward for a little bit longer before it finally listens. It turns like a bus. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it is. Like an Age of Empires 4 unit. <laughs> In a... I was talking about the Mama ship. The Mama ship's control feels horrible. Age of Empires 4 units. Oh, I stand by my... Yeah, I stand by my... my yeah, no, that's... I think that's good. Not bad for a Canadian? What is this? Not bad for a Canadian. And... <laughs> what does that mean? Classic. Um, double what? This must be, be it. It's a clip from Ugetsu. Yeah, that has to be the one. It's a very common American phrase, all right? I had like a little <laughs> argument on Reddit with some guy. He was cool, though. You're cool, man. You had arguments on Reddit? That's where you went wrong well, already. Like, she needs to Google this. Like, I didn't know that it was like a double entendre, right? Like, I wasn't just like, <laughs> Odin Gellas are on. Oh, it's a double. Wait, really? It is? Oh, no, my no, God. no, 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 it's not. It's like, okay, the rest of the world, right? Thinks that double fisting is apparently a very sexual act, all right? We're in Germany, so apparently look at, you guys just look, look, both that, me and right? Warrior like, bro, but in America, what are you doing? you're holding two drinks. Okay. You're holding it. There you go. Like, you can even mix the Red Bull if you want. <laughs> very funny vent, though. Really good time. You were laughing so hard. I had never heard of the term double fisting before, guys. No, no, no. Am I a Hydra man or a Muta man today? I am not sure, man. We've got a we've got a hype train going on actually. No, no, no. Am I a Hydra man or a Muta man today? I am not. Sure. We've got a we've got a hype train going. Very nice. It's very common here in Wisconsin. Really. It's very common here in Wisconsin. Really. You guys do a lot of double fisting in Wisconsin. Good, good for you guys. Good for you. What's this? I mean, I did like the clean, clean up, but I think it could have been better. That was an uncharistic to an uncharistic. Oh fuck it. <laughs> uncharistic. Oh fuck. Uncharistic. Oh fuck. Fuck it. Fuck it. Uncharistic of oh, it. That was a, su su that was a surpri surprising F2 by Shiba. Ah, oh, it's surprising that one. I mean, I was trying to go for a, Uncharacteristic. Go for a sophisticated word. And, and I remember yeah, I was. I French, never so. go for it. It was myself. Yeah. myself. I just he wanted to go for a fancy word, but then he remembered he was French. Fair enough. That's a good problem to have. How many zealots does Harstam's. What is the ideal number of zealots in a zealot run by? Oh. Uncharistic of oh, it. 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 How many zealots does Harstam s What is the ideal number of zealots in a zealot run by? Oh. I don't know. I, I think it depends a bit as well. Um, I like six. <laughs> mm, interesting. Why? Six is the first perfect number. Really? Yeah. You didn't know this? I did none of this. What is a perfect number? A perfect number is a number that is equal to the sum of its dividers. Six can be divided by three, two, and one. If you add three, two, and one together, you get back to six. That's crazy. Uh, that's how I decide uh, the amount of zealots in my run buys. <laughs> <laughs> the second perfect number is 28. So that's why sometimes you see me send a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Harstam, man. Kalazur loses it. Oh god, this is another cast with zombie grub. A drinking game, though. I still have the beer. <laughs> but I'm double fisting, so... Again! No? Double fisting? <laughs> Never heard it? Rowan, thank you so much! <laughs> it means I have two, two fists full of alcohol. Okay. <laughs> That's what it means. Okay, I, I just never heard that term before in, oh, okay. in any context whatsoever, so... Um, good to know. Uh, it is good to know. Good to know. Zombie Grub was a content machine, ha ha ha. Thank you, Coconut! Good to see you again. Thank you for the 15-month resub, appreciate you. Thank you also, Rowan, for the 394 person. Today I'm gonna be doing some...
<sighs> Zombie Grub keeps talking about double fisting. I don't know, guys. Okay. <sighs> Zombie Grub keeps talking about double fisting. I don't know, guys. I'm not sure. You Euro poor horse just can't afford enough alcohol to double fist. Oh, yeah. You haven't played StarCraft 2 in such a long time, you miss it? You should play it, Rowan, it's sick. It is a fantastic game. Unless, you know, you lose. Then it can be kind of frustrating. Let's see, feel strong, man, what's this? Oh god, this is a very old one. That's the Protoss player MC, who for some reason decides to sing this song. I am not entirely sure why we decided to do karaoke this this home story cup, but uh, I think he won the whole tournament and then he did it. I don't remember exactly. Dude, they all look so young. Everybody, look, that's Dennis right over there. Oh my god, I don't know if I can keep playing this without without getting uh, my my VOD muted. He can hold a tune, yeah. I can hold a tune too, but I wouldn't be singing it on stream, Rowan. <laughs> Demu's still with some hair. I think he was wearing a hat, no? But, yeah. What's this? Oh, he broke it again. <laughs> so to clarify... Oh, he broke it again. Yeah. Oh, he broke it again. Yeah. <laughs> so to clarify, if I understand correctly, Rainer got a replacement trophy, so he won two Home Story Cups back to back. And the previous Home Story Cup that he won, he also had a trophy. It was an immortal with a bunch of lighting, and he like shook it around a little bit, and it broke. So they got him a replacement one. And that's what you guys are all amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Supporting. Don't destroy it. Supporting. Not again. Not again. <laughs> Rain. I don't know how he manages. That is actually kind of hard. He breaks another trophy. Uh, da. What is this? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? That <laughs> was betrayal. <laughs> Wait, what? Did he just kill a ghost or did he attack move on another Dark Templar? Oh. The ghost goes away? <laughs> what? <laughs> the ghost walks away and the Dark Templar gets attack moved. Poor guy. Ravi reviewing Zelda Marathon clips. <clears throat> That's a little racist. <laughs> <laughs> That's very racist. <laughs> what are these cars? I didn't actually look at them. Proxy Hatch. Reviewing Zelda. Ma We're gonna open a bunch of clips. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna. Um. Any more good ones? Roddy says the Roddy things. <laughs> Roddy says the Roddy things. Okay, I'm ready. Behind, but I mean, uh, I say luckily, that was already no mining here for like a minute and a half. Of almost every single probe as well. Yeah, I think in the end, it's still good for Rainer. I gotta say, Hostem's probe micro at first was very sexy, but he just needed to make sure that he at yeah. least would have that money, so the adapt. And the funny thing is that he built a backup pylon, right? Roddy says the Roddy things. Wait, what are the Roddy things? That was some good commentary by Roddy. No. Not sure what this one is, guys. Horrible clip. Three out of ten. Three of these YouTubers, man. I play like. Roddy. Not sure what this one is, guys. Horrible clip. Three out of ten. I'm scared of these YouTubers, man. I play the guy that was called I Proxy Hatch. Three out of ten. I'm scared of these YouTubers, man. I play the guy that was called I Proxy Hatch, and I really thought it was you, Thermal. I was shitting my pants. I was like fuck. I, if I. Not sure what this one is. I play the guy that was called I Proxy Hatch, and I really thought it was you, Thermal. I was shitting my pants. <laughs> I really thought it was you, Fairm. And I really thought it was you. And I really thought it was you. I thought it was you. I really thought it was you, Fairm. I was shitting my pants. I was like, fuck. Shitting my pants. I was like, fuck. I was like, fuck. fuck.
I, if I lose him, I'll go on YouTube. Did he proxy hatch though? He did proxy hatch. I, if I lose him, I'll go on YouTube. Did he proxy hatch? Okay, yeah, I stepped. Hatch. Oh. Guess what? In CVZ? Yes. Went well. I lost. Really? I lost 60 points. <laughs> I couldn't believe oh, it. No. I was sweating. I was like, I started checking if you You're like streaming. checking on Discord if, if your thermal's online? I was refreshing his YouTube page. I was like, <laughs> damn it. Oh, embarrassing. Not like this. All these, all these programmers, actually, I've heard this from like, from like four different programmers during the cast. That they're all terrified of getting casted in a game on YouTube whenever they fuck up on the ladder. So like they play it in a game on YouTube whenever they fuck up. Whenever they fuck up. Fuck up. Whenever they fuck up. Fuck up. Fuck up. Fuck up. Whenever they fuck up on the ladder. So like they play a shitty ladder game, they're kind of the game like they play a shitty they play a shitty a shitty ladder game they're kind of like eating food or whatever at the same time talking with some buddies on discord and then they play a horrible game and apparently they they are a little bit afraid that those are the replays that end up uh yeah going around on the internet and then make it to the youtube channels um so i felt very powerful I'm not gonna lie i felt very powerful i i didn't realize that this was a thing that people together. were very concerned about so that, that's kind of scary for the protos obviously but maybe the dutchman has an ace up his sleeve yeah, that's tricky, right? I mean, in order to get better at the game, you have to obviously practice a lot. But then when you play against a guy you're playing in the tournament next, that does not make anything easier. Is it allowed to wear a Katowice cap in Krefeld? I'm not sure, man. <laughs> I can't believe after all these years you don't have Krefeld hats. We got some... Wait, this is this whole clip is just handsome lads? <laughs> really? <laughs> that's the whole clip? There's a lot of shots of Lambo and Harstam in this event, man. So follow me. I, I try to walk backwards. <laughs> like, uh, Coco's I'm, like, I'm really <laughs> afraid that I'm falling down. Here. Oh, try to walk backwards. <laughs> try to walk. Try to walk. Follow me. I I try to walk backwards. Like, uh, <laughs> Coco's I'm, like, I'm really afraid that I'm falling down here. <laughs> Coco, what happened here? We can see the exact moment where Coco realizes. She's on camera. So follow me. I, I try to walk. <laughs> Coco, I don't know if you're still here, but uh, I do. Yeah, this is a great shot. I like it. Fantastic moment. Oh, no. no, no. That, that is a Twitch emote right there. Yeah. Yeah. Just act normal. Uh, I usually want to say that even if you are at an event, we have these hardcore people that can't stop playing games. I don't know, Jerome, if you can follow me, this is our camera guy in the back. I'm so happy that we have XMG as one of our, of our long time... <laughs> this is just because Lorimbo and Kobo are on the... Okay. We can't wall it off, like it's so bad and all of this and that. Like the Koreans are messaging me saying like, you can't wall this off. I, I told the map maker, and the map maker's like, yeah, you just put two gateways here. <laughs> it was like, because it was like, they were trying to like wall further forward than you ah. had to. Uh -huh. And they were like, you know, you put put two gateways there. I right, show the Koreans, they're like, ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can almost hear it, yeah. Like, <laughs> exactly. The, funny, the funny thing is, is that the nerds are incredibly eager. As we take a look at Yona, <laughs> you guys can see Yona yeah, is incredibly, incredibly eager. eager. <laughs> uh, yeah, very well oh. played by Solar. We actually have another game between Trigger and Fiant, which we're going to jump into now. Oh, Parker. Where the score is 1-1. One, one. So Fiant took another map of a good Protoss player. Ooh. Probably with the same build, I'd imagine. I don't. Maybe Trigger didn't have what, time to what check. build? I, I missed the build. So the build, he he already almost he, he had a close game against Showtime in Sweden already. It's the Lorimbo build. Lorimbo is a 5.3 or 5.4k Zerg player uh, from Italy, who uh, invented or I'm not sure if he invented it, but he basically is playing a proxy hatch, gasless, spine crawler rush. <laughs> I did one cast with Lorimbo and Fiont. Um. Probably the most exhausting casts I've done in, in, in you know, in the entire event. Uh, those lots have a lot of energy. But it was a very fun cast, actually. Yeah, I was looking at the VOD and seeing what people were saying about it. 
they kept on talking about the high testosterone levels of the build. I was like, okay, we've had the high testosterone part covered now. And they're like, no, 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 no. We got to explain and go in depth what it means to have a high testosterone build versus a low... T they had a lot... Yeah, there was a lot going on there. There was a lot going on there, but... Was that a long pause where there were no casts at the chair plant? Or was that an oops? Harstam and a couple didn't know stepped in. Uh, after the beer pong section, Nolan? Originally, that beer pong segment was supposed to go on for for much longer. But I was told like three minutes before we did the beer pong section that I was asked to host it. And I didn't know the rules. Like, nobody told me the rules. They were like, yeah, it's just beer pong. And they sit in the chair and they turn around in the chair. I was like, great, but I have not played beer pong. I'm like, you'll figure it out. It'll be fine. So we do the beer pong section, right? We do the beer pong segment. And the first thing Ravi asked me is like, is, do we swipe back? So I got, I, I don't even, I, I have no idea. I played beer pong like five times in my life and I've never thought about the rules. Uh, so I was like, I don't fucking know what we're doing. I know we're sitting in a chair. So, so I was like, I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know what we're doing. I know we're sitting in a chair. So originally that section was supposed to be much longer. Um, but I asked if it could please make it shorter. Cause like, I think we did 10 minutes in total which already felt like a long time, and I guess they filled it with the empty chairs of some cricket sounds. Um, I, I, th I think that's probably what they did. Are bounces allowed? I was like, I don't know, Ravi. Figure it out. It's not what we're doing. In the end, you guys hit nothing, so it was okay. We didn't really care about the rules. Everything was missed. The Germans apparently still sober enough, so... Anyways. What's going on, Lorimbo? Meeting? Yeah, dude, what's up? <sighs> Anyways. What's going on, Lorimbo? Uh, at home. The last few times I went to BlizzCon, pick it and fly out there, man. Like, basically the same word. <laughs> Fred. Anyways, Mark Zuckerberg. Is that what I'm getting? Mate, it's threat. Fuck it up as hard as possible. But Mr. Musk seems to be keen on uh, trying. Mate, it's thread. Is that what I'm getting? Anyways. Mark Zuckerberg. Is his nickname literally Zuck? Anyways. Mark Zuckerberg. Is his nickname literally Zuck? That's amazing. 10 million signups in 7 hours? Is that good or bad? I have no idea, Zuck. I have no idea what, like... I don't know, is that good? Is 10 million installations in 7 hours good? For a meta app? I don't know. Yeah, so I think the main reason why this can be kind of, of interesting is, is because you, you log in with your Instagram account. So it's, it's obviously owned by meta. And basically all of the social media people that have a bunch of followers on Instagram automatically have those same followers on Thread as well. Which does make it kind of interesting. Because otherwise she would have to start again from scratch and getting everybody to port over and whatnot is going to be hard. But Instagram is kind of big. Oh, yeah. I, I, so, yeah. I, I, like, I can go to the website. This is what the website looks like. I can scroll in and out, I believe. Oh, no, I can't even do that anymore. Oh, I can, kind of. This is all I see, though. What if you don't have Instagram or Facebook? Well, then I guess you could make a new account. Yeah, it's a new app that is supposed to be kind of like Twitter. But, uh, you know, it's kind of ironic that people are very excited for Thread. For thread. Uh, especially after everybody, like, has been shitting on Facebook. For after everybody, like, has been sh shitting on Facebook. On been shitting on Facebook for many, many years, and now people are like, oh, Bro, we're gonna replace Twitter with another Facebook app, let's fucking go! There's a little bit of irony there. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna, yeah, it seems to be what a lot of people are doing right now. 
We'll see how it works out. Uh, yeah, uh, it seems to be book app. Let's fucking go. <gasps> bro, we're gonna replace many, many years. And now people are like, <gasps> bro, we're gonna replace Twitter with another Facebook app. Let's fucking app. Let's fuck fucking Twitter with another Facebook app. Let's fuck fucking go fucking. App, let's go. There's a little bit of irony there, but uh, yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, it seems to be what a lot of people are doing right now. I kind of like Twitter still. Yeah, there's be in the app as much as possible. It's now and feed you. <laughs> Messages I've been getting aren't even hot. Time to make your own thread of just accounts that you want to follow only. But th that's what I'm saying. It defaults to the wrong category. It's nice to have competition, right? Uh, you thermals go salt, <laughs> especially when I play StarCraft. Yeah, it's okay. It is what it is, chat. For so the best of five, better. like imagine this thumbnail. Like both of them were one of the new ads. I don't see any squares. I just see a man watching a stream, watching a stream, watch a stream, watch a stream, watch a stream. Yeah, if you have a screenshot, I'm very interested. Or maybe somebody knows what they're talking about. There's new ads available? Stream display ads? <laughs> but anyway... Attention! In 2023? We need to study the basics of poetry, okay? If you're half uh, if you want to start shitboasting Twitch, uh, Twitch chat, at least you know, we need to study the basics of poetry, okay? Playing Zerk when Protoss. Well, a lot of people are doing right now. Playing Zerk when Protoss is playing normal. Playing Zerk when Protoss is cannon rush. This is my face all the time when I play Zerk. I don't understand. Protoss players in 2023. Live footage of Protoss players trying to get out of group stage in 2023? Mate, what tournaments are these people watching, though? This is just like... There's a lot of anti-Protoss propaganda going on on, on the StarCraft community posts uh, over the last couple of weeks. Last couple of months, really, but it seems to be gaining momentum. I'm not exactly sure as to why. Protoss does really well getting to, like, top 16s and top 8s and all that. And then, you know, they don't win shit after that. That, and then, you know, they don't win shit. After that. But they do alright getting into... I guess maybe in the GSL things are doing kind of bad. Okay. What are your thoughts on the mothership? Like, this is more bait, right? We all know that this is bait, 100%. We already looked at this thread on Monday, I think. Actually, no, this was posted yesterday. Well, then I thought, I probably dreamed about streaming. This is 100% bait. What are your thoughts on the mothership? Okay, chat, what do you think? There's gonna be some mama ship slander over here. There's gonna be guys in this comment section they think that the mothership should not be abductable. There's gonna be guys in the, in the comment section 100% of the time that think it should not be abductable. Which is a really, really bad take. Become instantly overpowered. Minus 400, minus 400. Okay, good, good. I agree. Viper, ah, here it is! Viper should not be able to abduct it. I wish we still had Vortex. Vort Vortex was dumb. Give it immunity to abduct. Like when they gave it immunity to Neural. Uh, you know the reason why motherships get abducted all the time? People put it on the fucking control group with their main army, okay? People put it on the fucking... Put it on the fucking... Fucking...
control group with their main army, okay? They don't use a separate hotkey for it. Um, in theory, right, assuming you micro everything correctly, I Templar outrange Vipers. So if you have your mothership in a control group separate from the High Templar and the rest of your army, you can always, technically speaking, feedback the Viper before the abduction comes in. Uh, yeah, they want to be the abduction comes in. Uh, yeah, they want to be able to just all army attack move. That's what they want, man. It was, uh, it's just, it's not right. It's not right. I don't think it needs a buff, no. It's, it's very good in very niche situations. This one was too long, by the way. I'm not going to read all of this. I actually think Protoss late game is very good. Hot take. I think Protoss late game is very good. Not right. I actually think Protoss late game is very good. Hot take. I think Protoss late game is very strong, chat. I don't believe that it needs any buffs. It needs to be able to blink like stalkers. I think Protoss late game is plenty powerful as it is. I would, I would just go out and say, though, that probably the best Zerg players in the world are better than the best Protoss players in the world. I honestly think if Hero and Serral were to switch race and they would play a Protoss versus Zerk, where Serral's playing Protoss and Hero's playing Zerk and they're playing a late game, I think Serral would demolish him with Protoss. Assuming they had a few months to practice and all that, right? Like, obviously, obviously those are hypotheticals and it'd be very difficult to actually put that in practice, but like, people try to sample on like four pro gamers, which is kind of nutty. Zerk Cabal at work. Zerk Cabal at work. <laughs> just look at the numbers. No, no, the meme that we just had over here was live footage of Protoss players trying to get out of the group stage. These Zerk Cabal strikes again, man. Serral with Protoss would be scary. Hmm. Anyways, do I win a game? These were both against Salty Seal. Let's go, Omega. Thanks for the timeouts, mods. Go, go, loco. Scarves, guys. No. What is that? What is a PT Cruiser? <laughs> oh, yeah. Loco is a PT Cruiser guy? What is that? <laughs> yeah, this was a series. Loco is a PT Cruiser guy? What is that? What is a PT Cruiser? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. This is my ride, baby. Woo! The ugliest car ever? No, that wasn't even ugly your car and I found out that apparently my girlfriend's parents had one of those when she was a kid what is the uglier car with the little hump in the middle thing Dutch people know what I'm talking about those were like Fiat Multipla yes dude they had one of these growing up apparently this this is the ugliest car I have ever seen I'm sorry if you drive one of those but this is genuinely ugly I'm not really a car guy uh, I really don't care care much about cars, but like there's uh, I really don't care much about cars, but like there's there's something went wrong here so, Something went wrong. Yeah A Nissan cube. What is a Nissan cube? <laughs> it looks like a frowning old man. I don't know what's go. That's the vibe I'm getting here. Well, it's very cute. I can tell you that much. Now with electric cars, they don't even really need the engine over here in the front anymore. They could make it a proper cube cube. I'm looking forward to the electric version of the Viat cube. A proper cube? Yeah, it would be horrible for everything. Pink you on Discord, Loco? You pink me on Discord? This is supposed to be a supercar? Oh, it's a, it's a movie. Pink you on Discord, Loco? You pink me on Discord? Power? 
Ah! Oh my god. This is supposed to be a supercar? Oh, it's a- it's a it's a multipla! It is! 1276 horsepower? It doesn't look very aerodynamic, I'll be honest with you. All of those supercars are very low to the ground. I don't know- I don't know what's go going on here, but... This is like turning a truck into a supercar, I don't know. I bet it'll be a blast to drive. Oh yeah, I'm sure it will be. So funny. <laughs> That's so funny, you know. <laughs> it looks so cursed. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Dude, this is. These are sick. Dude. Wait, are you hating on this one? Mm -mm. Wait, are you hating on this one? These are sick, dude. This is a sick car. Oh, you're just saying it's an actual cube. I misunderstood. I thought you were were linking ugly cars. I was like, what? This thing looks amazing. <laughs> Do you stand up in these while driving? <laughs> What's Do you stand up in these while driving? Like, what do you do? What's happening right now? <laughs> it's like a standing desk, but in a car. It does kind of look like a baseball cap, yeah. Dutch people? Well, I probably can't stand in there. Dutch people probably probably can't stand in there. <laughs> um, we'll be seeing those going around again. A Volkswagen Beetle into a track car? Let's go, lurkers! I thought for a second this was fake. Yeah, Clem's just a little, just less. I thought for a second this was Facebook. What the fuck? Oh, it's the mobile version of the website. I see. Can I mute this? I think I should mute this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh, Protal Study got it. How many workers is this? There's a lot of workers. On Reddit, like that chat. 100% win rate. Wait, um. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. During that game. They were going crazy, man. Look, are you calling us donkeys? Um. Yes, and? Burgling's coming across the map, chat. I did lose the overly. The overly? Nice. English. How many drones did I lose though? Not too much, I don't think. Best 69 months of my life. Very nice. Glad to hear you're happy, Dan. Appreciate you. Very nice. Okay. Um, I gotta decide where I want. There's a bangling nest coming up right now for my. I've got a very quick lair. Swarm host? No, no, no. What? No. Not the goal. As it may make you th see, that's where a lot of people go wrong. I am not a very quick lair. I've got a very quick lair. Take this game. I've got a very quick lair, and I'm planning on skipping out my link speed. Swarm host? No, no, no. I think you misunderstood, Echo. I'm trying to win this game. See, that's where a lot of people go wrong. I am not trying to lose. Although, watching my stream, sometimes it may make you think that I am trying to lose. Not the goal. What? No way! Why the fuck did the- No way! Why the fuck- Why the f did the mate? That was bullshit. That was bullshit. What 
The fuck was that? The fuck? The fuck? The fuck was that? He just. Okay, well, I wanted to go mute us. I guess now I can't go mute us anymore. Dude, my Evo chamber didn't build there. Ay, 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 ay. I knew that Overlord was bait. I took it too. I was like, ooh, but what if I do get it? Ay, ay, ay. That was bullshit. That was bullshit for sure, man. Ay, ay, ay. Why did that, why did that drone just stand there? It was just standing there, waiting for it to be able to make a... Uh, I don't know. Okay, that's not great. It, it just stood there. Enjoying its life. I was gonna go for an all-in, but... Um, I think I was in a good position before that, though. Because I did... And I gotta hit him before... I don't plan on scouting. I'm just gonna take a chance. Brenda, step aside! And I don't plan on scouting. And I gotta hit him before Mutas are... There's a good chance he's now going Mutas. And I gotta hit him before Mutas are out. Problem is, I have no way to... No. Brenda, step aside! Now, imagine if my hatchery there did not get sniped. Genuinely, though. All jokes aside, it would have not been even close. <sighs> unlucky, dude. Very unlucky. Sometimes it takes a drone a second before it makes a structure. I feel like that one took, took a very long time. No reason that I could tell, anyways. Uh, there should definitely be mutas on the back of this. I don't know what else it could be. I am very dead. But I can try and put all my eggs in one basket, okay? I'm accepting a loss if there are mutas. I am just gonna make non-stop roaches, that's the plan. This third base of mine is fake, I don't care about that third base. I'm not gonna... What we're gonna do is just try and still win despite the fact that this is already a loss. You know what I mean? He could be going into plus two. Oh, it's mutas? What? No way! And this is why a gamble, kids. Don't do it. I don't know what happened to that fucking drone, though. I swear to God, that drone, kids. Don't do it. There's really no way for me to play. The point of this league is to avoid playing on the default. Thank you, dude. Why uh, player needs an alternative? A hundred Eric. If the games because uh, the StarCraft 2 ladder isn't treating me well and I already mentioned I wanted to play three different games. Balance the game around me there would be a penalty for having APM above 120. I saw that uh, Team Liquid threat actually. If they balanced the game ar around me there would be a penalty for having APM above 120. I saw that uh, Team Liquid threat actually Zeus. It was really funny. Um, I think it was Biomu who tweeted about that which was kind of kind of interesting. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Where is it? The point of this league is to avoid playing on the, on the default StarCraft ladder. There are too many quote-unquote bad players who ruin the fun ring. My main concern are... Or my main concerns rather are... High APM players. When your APM is high enough that you can consistently micro and get more value out of your units. But either they lack all other skills and are stuck in lower league. A loss will count as zero points, a draw as one point, and a win as two points. At the end of the league schedule, the best player is the player with the most points. The maximum APM allowed per game is 110 for the first five minutes for Terran and Protos, 120 for the first five minutes as Zerk. If the game lasts longer than five minutes, the maximum is increased with 10 per additional five minutes. So I, I responded to this tweet and I said, ah, yes, that's reasonable. And then, then Eon Blue apparently mentioned that apparently this guy used me as a reason. He says to paraphrase Loco, so I said this in a video, don't blame balance, blame yourself, just get better. This is a statement I highly disagree with. To paraphrase Loco again, 
a hundred supply worth of carriers of the same value for a Diamond League player as for a Grandmaster player. A hundred supply worth of Marine Marauder Medivac is way less valuable for Diamond League than for a Grandmaster League player. This guy put dashes everywhere, man. I definitely didn't write this, but... The solution is not that the Diamond League player needs to get better, but that the Diamond League, Diamond League player needs an alternative. <sighs> this guy is very bothered over... Like, I think he probably played like three games and he got very, very frustrated by it. Yeah, he, he did his homework. Um, I, yeah, I don't, I don't think what he's saying is particularly smart, but I think it's kind of funny that, you know, he brings me up there. Limiting, like artificially limiting a APM though, is one of the absolute worst balance suggestions I've ever heard. That is so funny. <laughs> Paraphrasing Loco. Ah, no, that's, that's unreasonable. No, 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 I said it was reasonable. Hold up right now. Hey, Obi. Thank you so much. Hold up right now. Hey. No, 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 I said it was... I appreciate you. Welcome. Alrighty, guys. Um, I got started with this race. And then it works. A sufficient amount of oil. It's a bit of a problem. One. That tells me that I need to blow this up. I need oil. So, like, um... So, no, 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 that's not how it Right. Comes through those holes. Studio that makes this game. This game. Uh, is a relatively small one. I don't think I need to translate that part, do I? I feel like it's pretty obvious. He's counting until... 9. He doesn't want to die this way. Ooh. I didn't. S oh god, yeah, it is chasing me. Fuck me. It's really sweet, though. Maybe that makes me bad, but. Hey, welcome back again to another live stream. So, is this the thing? Now spread this plague. The malignant are relentless and without mercy. Dungeon rewards. Fantastic, fantastic. So wait, your work? That's not really a thing I can do. This is Belgium, right over here. This is the. There are no. I get a stereotype in my head. Netherlands. Interesting for the ninth. Slash r slash Netherlands. The usual suspects of car traffic in the Netherlands? Yep, I get a stereotype in my head for every single one of these cars, right away. <laughs> which is probably a bad thing. But anyways, uh, I don't know which article you're... <laughs> which is probably your... or this? There are no borders in the European Union, however, you will always know where the Netherlands begins. <laughs> this is the core... this is Belgium, for sure, yeah. This this is Belgium right over here. This is the Netherlands right over there. It's obvious. It's very obvious. That's the, yeah. This is the one you saw. I see. Hundred percent that this is that this is Belgium. Yeah, has to be. The roads in the Netherlands are considered quite good. I think uh, it's it's like I think the Netherlands is like second highest ranking or something in the world when it comes to like road quality. I think Singapore is like first, if I understand correctly, but... <laughs> Jesus does a little trolling. Yeah, yeah. Um, that sucks, dude. There was a bit of a storm co coming through a couple days ago. Cycling in the Netherlands? I never go to this subreddit. Should I be, should I be here more often? Top ranked this, this year. Let's see. Rappers in the street. I was raised in the streets, streets in the Netherlands. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. 
living a tough life out there, man. There are some shitty streets in the Netherlands, I'm sure, but there, you, you have to... You have, there are some shitty 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 streets in the Netherlands, I'm sure, but there you, you have to you have to go out and find them. It's not something that is as easily found. The Dutchiest video ever? That's a silver league. Oh, Oh yeah, I've seen this before. I forgot about that one. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, the seagulls get aggressive. Um They know they know you are absolutely no no no, no yeah. No problem. A sparrow did that to you once while you were eating fries? Ay 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 ay. He could have poked out her eye though. Yeah, she should be grateful. He could have poked out. That'd be great. That was only like maybe two euro. So you know, Bosnell doesn't play. What did they say? Dear Bosnell, do you mind that you're poisoning the lungs of our one-year-old son that are still under development several times a day via diesel fuel vapors? We're working on it. However, this does take some time. I see that you live in the middle of Amsterdam. In the meantime. Look differently at Funda for a nice house in the countryside if you're so concerned about the health of your little one. <laughs> Let's fucking go, Postanel. Get him. Let's fucking go, Postanel. Let's fucking go, Let's fucking go. Let's fucking Go, Postanel. Get him. <laughs> That's funny. What is an incredibly Dutch thing that the Dutch don't don't realize is Dutch? Yeah, the Dutch are known for being very straightforward. This is very straight calendar. Very straightforward for sure. Yes. Toilet birthday calendar. Toilet birthday calendar is in every Dutch home. Okay. This is very normal indeed. You should all take over the Dutch toilet birthday calendar. Yes. This is a yearly calendar where everybody you know, their name is written down. And usually it's like one page for each month. So say, for example, right now it's the month of July. Everybody you know has their birthday on it. So while you're taking a shit, you can just sit there and look at whose birthdays is coming up. While you're taking a shit, you can just sit there. Yeah, toilet calendars, dude. I didn't realize that this wasn't a thing. It's not a terrible idea. Why do you automatically assume anything Dutch is a terrible idea? <laughs> the krill? Flourish of approval? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Wait, this is not a thing in other, other countries? You get these in school. You know you got a curl when, when you're, you're, like your teacher was like... And you're like, oh shit, I did something right. And you're like, oh sh shit. I I did something right. A flourish of approval. I like that. A mostly Dutch symbol used for grading schoolwork? Yeah. No, this is, I, this is for real. I'm not trying to fool you. This is for real. I have never thought about this being a Dutch thing. Congratulating me while my girlfriend has her... This is very normal. Yes, in the Netherlands when you go to a birthday party, it is assumed you congratulate everybody. Not just the person whose birthday it is. You're like, congratulations with your grandchild or something. I don't know, chat. I don't make the rules. The noises you all make when reacting with confusion or shock, you hear, huh? When there's an explanatory, huh? There's also like the pois, pois. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> this is mostly young people, I think. Yeah, you wouldn't hear a lot of old people going, we, yo. No, that's not really a thing. Walking into a room and congratulating everybody individually? Yeah, one by one for somebody's bay? Yeah! I've noticed in a conversation whenever it's silent or there's a general mood of relaxation, people make a breedy... Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. A simple cheese sandwich for lunch? There you go. The doors on moaning? 
What is this? Porcelain voning. Switch for lunch. There you go. You have window. Interesting. I've never thought. This is like the bottom floor. Oh, in my home. I'm sure family is there. Grandparents, uncles, aunts. Yeah. Windows in the back. Yeah, we have family birthday parties. There's no music. It's on a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon. If you're having a birthday party in the Netherlands on a Saturday, I'm not coming, chat. I'm sorry, but I'm streaming. I choose you over a birthday party, okay? Just so you all know. The entire family is there. Grandparents, uncles, aunts. Yeah. Inviting also friends. And not just family is strictly for... No, that's not true. That's not true. It depends on the size of the family. Like, most people don't have a very large home in the Netherlands, right? So, like, if you can't fit everybody in your, in your like, you know, living room, I, it's not going to be able to... But otherwise, no one wants to be there. True. Everyone sits in a circle. True. When you arrive, you have to congratulate everyone with the birthday of the person whose birthday it is. Yes. You eat cake and drink coffee. Many awkward silences. That very much so depends on the family, I think. No alcohol until 5 p.m. See, that's why you have a lot of awkward silences. My family does not have a 5 p.m. rule on alcohol. I'm not really much of a drinker, but uh, if you... Yeah, no, that's... that. See, these are these go hand in hand. The food sucks. Usually bolognas with cheese. I mean, I think that's also family. No, no warm food, usually. No, that's true. Around 8 p.m. it's time to go home and everybody is happy that can go home. 8 p.m.? Mate, you just mentioned 5 p.m. Nobody goes to a birthday party in the Netherlands and sits there for more than three hours, okay? Three hours is the absolute, absolute max. Uh, it is not frowned upon to stay for like 30 minutes and leave. Maybe, maybe an hour and leave. Yeah. A full, a full fucking day? Yeah. A full, oh, no. It is common, and maybe this is weird actually, if you go to to like a Dutch birthday party and get like an invitation or something. It is usually quite common to have like a starting time on, a, on the invitation, but also an ending time. I feel like the ending time, that's like, okay guys, 7 p.m. it's time for you to get the fuck out. Uh, 7 p.m. it's time for you to get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. 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 Out. Uh, that is also yes. There is there is usually there is usually a time included. You've never seen that before. You know when you do stay over for too long, at some point they'll just they'll just take the glasses and stop refilling them. <laughs> just if you don't get the hint, <laughs> they're not gonna specifically ask you to leave, but it will made it, it will be made obvious over time. I actually am a big fan of ending times, yes. Show up around 4, it is very common to have a birthday party that starts at like 1pm until like 5pm or something. Like for a family birthday party, that is very common, yes. 1pm and 5pm is also the perfect time, so you don't have to worry about making lunch for the people that are coming over, but neither do you have to worry about dinner. Yeah, it's more like coffee, cake, maybe some snacks. Get the fuck out. Yeah. Get the fuck out. Get the f fuck out. God. Yeah. It will usually, no, it won't be explicitly. It It will usually, no, it won't be explicitly mentioned, but it'll usually be like, do you want to come over for some cake and coffee at like, you know, between 2 and 5? Or yes. So it's not like ending time, colon, colon, 5 p.m. Bye, Bye guys! Bye! See ya! Drive safe! Drive safe! 5 p.m. Bye. Bye guys! Bye! See ya! Drive safe! Drive safe! <laughs> He's so <laughs> good! Die! Am I right? <laughs> Ellie! You're still here! Well, it's been nice, but ma- mm? How about, um, a cup of tea before you go? Thought you'd never ask. <sighs> oh, yeah, thanks.
Kratos. And this is very much so a cultural thing, dude. This is very much so a cultural thing. Uh, this wouldn't very quickly happen. Oh, <laughs> ...approach here, guys. I'm trying to think of how this would be happening in the Netherlands. I can't even imagine really being in this situation in the Netherlands. No, you wouldn't just straight up tell some... Like, you, you can't just tell somebody to straight up leave, no? Just tell them to leave? Yeah, but you, you do it in the way that these people are doing it over here. There's no way you would go and up, up to that person and say, Okay, everybody's gone, get the fuck out. To that person and say, Okay, everybody's gone, get the fuck out. Out. No. I don't know. Thanks for having us. It the, yeah. Okay. If it's a yeah. If it's a close friend. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. Next one. Next one. Sharing tea bags. As a student, I always share tea bags with my friends, since one bag is too strong, or is strong enough for two or three cups. Yeah. This is just Dutch people being cheap. Okay. I think that's fine. Uh, if you ask a Dutch people or a Dutch person, is this tap water safe to drink? You never get a plain yes, but rather always the same speech about how water in the Netherlands is always safe to drink. How many times have you asked this to a person? Why do you keep asking the person? Maybe they don't need to repeat themselves if you remembered. What? <laughs> I don't understand, Kelmer. This doesn't seem like an issue. It seems like a you problem. Saying super a lot? Hmm. I don't know, maybe. The signs on the yard or on the windows with the name of the baby when one is born, and perhaps also birthday cards that we send when a baby is born? Or birth cards? Wait, is that not a normal thing? Do people not send cards when a, a baby is born? Very normal in the Netherlands, yes. <sighs> I feel like that happens most of the time. Yeah. Carts are a thing in Australia, too. I guess it depends, uh, again, it's, it depends, I guess, from... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and play some StarCraft country to country. MMR like crazy over the last couple of Look nice. Monkey again. That's... The Gateway Man? Uh, what's this, guys? The Gateway Man? <laughs> okay. Apes can play. The Gateway Man? Okay. Apes can play. The Gateway Man is slowly... turning into monkey again. That's okay. Ooh, I made these for fun. I thought I'd share them. That's pretty sick, dude. Although I don't think anybody in Star... Starcraft ever uses the arrow keys. Seems pretty bad. But these look nice. Banes do zero damage to Neo Humanity Cooling Tower from the high ground? <laughs> Nora, why are you running your Banes into the. Whoa! That's actually insane. They do no damage. <laughs> That's amazing. When you're doing the cheesiest that Mimi is built in history and they don't scout. Lego Siege Tank? What? This is, this is from the Wings of Liberty. Okay. Yes. These two win five minutes. Bronze League is really quite impressive.